Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Feature Friday. This week we're going to be talking about a type of glove that doesn't really come up in conversation all too often, but we do have a couple options laid out in front of us here. So we are talking about puncture resistance gloves. Now puncture resistance is something that has been surrounded by some ambiguity I think over the last good few years, even though the standard has been around for a little bit. Now some of the things to kind of mainly keep in mind when you're talking or thinking about getting some puncture resistant gloves is how this rating is measured. Now we've got a couple of gloves here, you can see some of them have the rating on the back. Some gloves you're going to find the rating deep inside a tag. This is an example here of a glove um, that has the, the tag kind of on the inner part here. So that is a key thing is bearing in mind is what is the application that we're going to be using these gloves for uh, what kind of puncture is is potentially coming into harm's way with an employee or with your shells just directly if you're the one using them so let's get into it so puncture resistance is measured based on two primary standards so there's an en standard and ansi standard which is essentially looks at the blunt puncture or large object threat testing uh, so essentially that's going to be more in the industrial application you know like lumber workers some metal fabrication uh, waste collection we know some first responders are also at some risk of that but that's really going to get more into the fine object threat so here comes into place the ASTM F2878 rating so that one is a rating essentially since 2016 and the rating is gauged on about a 25 gauge probe as opposed to the EN ANSI standard large object threat which is kind of like the size of a ballpoint pen is what they use to do the probe testing. So with that, what you want is essentially a glove that even when you have a very fine needle can actually go in and only a certain amount of Newton resistance is applied where there, you're gonna have that protection. And that's the key thing is the Newton weight count. So that's how the rating is all based is we basically take these objects and they've tested by applying pressure against the fabric and based on the amount of pressure applied before there is an actual puncture is how the rating is set. So that's what's important, right? Is that if you have a needle in close proximity, if you're gently kind of, you know, putting the hand through something, let's say in waste collection, for example, and you happen to graze a needle, if you have a, a rating that allows for up to, let's say four or six Newton of force uh, with a, like a hypodermic needle uh, then you know that you should be pretty protected although if you were to basically fish in there and do a, a good squeeze of a needle then you know there's a lot more risk uh, even with a good rated glove but the better the higher the rated glove you know obviously the more there is protection now let's talk about a couple different materials that come into play here so some of the key puncture resistant materials in the market we have two of them in front of us here so we've got leather so these are the Watson Van Goats. We have talked about these gloves before. Uh, more on the impact protection is what we talked about, but these are actually puncture level A5 rated. Um, leather in general is actually a pretty good puncture resistant material, but for blunt puncture protection, not necessarily fine puncture protection. So that's a huge distinguishing factor there. Uh, there's also metal mesh gloves, and those are typically good, uh, both for fine and blunt puncture resistance. They're just not the most comfortable. They're very crinkly and mesh um, and it's just you know in the hands they don't necessarily feel the best but that being said good protection but as they break down over time that mesh eventually loses some of that fine point protection and that's something that you really have to watch for last but not least is the woven Kevlar and that's basically the style that we've got primarily when you're kind of looking at these options here so these gloves are going to have good puncture and cut resistance for the most part because you've got that kind of that Kevlar stitch but the thing is, is that every option in the market is going to be different because stitching patterns and the way that you do it can have tighter or more open gaps. And that can relate to breathability, flexibility, all sorts of other factors. So now one thing that we're going to point out with these gloves is they both have their puncture resistance stamped on the back, which is ideal. That's the best location. I mean, fetching inside for a tag, it works, um, but it's always nice to see your puncture protection or your general ratings right on the back of the uh, back of the glove here. So this one's got the puncture, uh, the ANSI puncture four, level four, and the dexterity here has the ANSI puncture level five rating. So something we're gonna just remind you of real quick is that that ANSI rating is based on that blunt puncture protection rating. So to be more specific, you have to kind of keep in mind that when you have a glove that has that rating on it, you also wanna see if you can find information about the hypodermic or the fine needle testing. So uh, we did have that information from Superior Glove because they do, uh, they have it posted, they have it advertised, which is great. 
great. We're kind of, you know, wanting to talk about this again because it isn't something that gets talked about super often, but when it does come up, it's crucial. We've had companies give us calls because, you know, they've run into some issues where, you know, they're, they're doing some clean outs at different places or different properties, we'll say, and they run into those situations where they've had employees uh, that, that get uh, a needle to the hand and, you know, they had some gloves in place, but it just maybe wasn't the best fit for what they needed. And those things happen, incidents will happen, and, and you know, the biggest thing to do is to learn from them and to make sure that we can move on from there and offer better protection. And that's what glove companies such as Superior Glove and, and others have done to really kind of add more offering to this marketplace by coming up with kind of innovative products and products that offer, you know, flexibility, dexterity, but also a good level of that puncture resistance. And that's what's crucial about it. So if you have questions, give us a shout or send us a message, email, whichever. We do not have these stocked on our website. It is more of a specialty product that we do bring in kind of case by case, but we can definitely work with you to find what is the best solution for your application. And so that's kind of what we want to do is help you out and help you figure kind of what you need based on what your employees are doing and where, what are the risks at stake. So thanks again, guys. Have yourselves a great weekend. Thank you for tuning into this Feature Friday and we will see you guys next time. Cheers.